Can you imagine a future where your car is fueled by iron powder instead of gasoline? Metal powders, produced using clean primary energy sources, could provide a more viable long-term replacement for fossil fuels than other widely discussed alternatives, such as hydrogen, biofuels, or batteries, according to a study in the December 15th issue of the journal Applied Energy. Technologies to generate clean electricity, primarily solar and wind power, are being developed rapidly, but we can't use that electricity for many of the things that oil and gas are used for today, such as transportation and global energy trade, notes McGill University professor Jeffrey Bergthorson, lead author of the new study. Biofuels can be part of the solution, but won't be able to satisfy all the demand, hydrogen requires big heavy fuel tanks and is explosive, and batteries are too bulky and don't store enough energy for many applications, says Berg Thorson, a mechanical engineering professor and associate director of the Trottier Institute for Sustainability in Engineering and Design at McGill. Using metal powders as recyclable fuels that store clean primary energy for later use is a very promising alternative solution. Unlike the internal combustion engines used in gasoline-powered cars, external combustion engines use heat from an outside source to drive an engine. External combustion engines, modern versions of the coal-fired steam locomotives that drove the industrial era, are widely used to generate power from nuclear, coal or biomass fuels in power stations. The idea of burning metal powders is nothing new, they've been used for centuries in fireworks, for instance. Since the mid-20th century, they've also been used in rocket propellants, such as the Space Shuttle's solid fuel booster rockets. But relatively little research has been done in recent decades on the properties of metal flames, and the potential for metal powders to be used as a recyclable fuel in a wide range of applications has been largely overlooked by scientists. Ron could be the primary candidate for this purpose, according to the study. Millions of tons of iron powders are already produced annually for the metallurgy, chemical and electronic industries. And iron is readily recyclable with well-established technologies, and some novel techniques can avoid the carbon dioxide emissions associated with traditional iron production using coal.